welcome to 25 Hour News. I'm Natasha Delacroft Brown and this is 25 Hour News. Sad news today as animal protection agencies report a rise in real bat swings being used for Halloween decoration, as these images show. Police sources report a sharp rise in fake cocaine being offered to trick or treating kids. Parents are said to be incredibly disappointed. Hundreds of shoppers have been turned away from major supermarkets as the worldwide pumpkin drought hits home. In spite of all of Kenya's arable land being given over to pumpkin production. And now for some even more gruesome gaming with Kez from Kez Says. And here we are again with Kez from Kez Says. What's up YouTube? And what do you have today for us? Today we have a brand new game, part of our new indie series. Um, indie, in yes. Uh, so, this one is called Succulent. Perhaps about food? Perhaps Could about possibly. fine dining? If you're a fan of that sort of thing, this might be your cup of tea. So, we'll open it up here. Just check we are all recording. Excellent. Let's load up the game and have a look. So, similar sort of interface to before. Gives us some yes, graphical options. Uh, I'm going to assume this is set to the right sort of thing. See if we can get into chew as well. There we go. By Robert Yang. Yeah. Okay. Are you familiar with him? I I know some of his earlier work. Um, and graphically, this is this is much better. Not entirely sure. I think this is sort of the the intro section again. Um, it's good how the whole sort of ambient around. It, if you listen when it. Go Goes in, the music That's comes true. in. That's true, they've put some effort in there. Both their heads are coming up as well. Um, some sort of thing around the arm, I wonder if we'll find mm. out what that is. Not entirely sure how to get past this level, if there's a sort of chew button. Now do you think there'll be any other characters that the players at home would be able to choose from? I imagine there'll be lots of different food groups uh, the characters can, uh, can experiment with. I can't really seem to do anything other than put the corn dog in. I feel like this might be it. So do you think there'll be any other levels on this game? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if anyone at home has played this game themselves and uh, knows the technique of getting past this level, perhaps you could drop us uh, something in the comments. Something should appear across the bottom here for you to find and uh, submit what, what, you, what you can. Uh, so as a community, you know, we can really uh, work out. Help each other. Yeah, seems to be enjoying that. That's good. Okay. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to Kez Says. I've been Kez. Thank you. Thank, Kez. You. Thank you. Take care. Let's see if I can get any further. And now for some scary sports news with the frightful Marcus Greggs. Hi, Marcus Greggs here asking the big questions. And today, I'm waiting for up-and-coming young boxer Jack White to put some big questions to him. Good afternoon, Jack. Hi. So, you've um, you just been training, Jack? Yeah, yeah. I'm always in there. Yeah. Always? Well, three times a day, not always. I've got to sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, if only, the, uh, if only the people who supply our cheap tuna fish were so fortunate, eh, hey, Jack? Yeah, I mean, tuna is, is high in protein, so... No, no strong feelings on the inequalities between rich and poor that exist in this very country, Jack. Yeah, I just do what I do and make my money my way, you know. Absolutely. So would you say, um, would you compare yourself in that regard to, to Alan Sugar, perhaps one of our homegrown entrepreneurs? Uh, yeah, yeah. Lord Sugar. Yeah, um, which, which part of a, um, a, a man who, who trumpets about his past as an East End Barrow boy, who then shamelessly accepts an ermine cloak and some backhanders, would you say is the most despicable? Um, yeah, uh, it's not too... So, so tell us about your training, Jack, please. Well, I just go in there three times a day, sparring twice a day, and then I've got all sorts of... People have got some really great people that have been sparring with just to lead up to the fight. Uh, so I've got a couple of guys that came over from LA last week. That was good. Uh, really fast guys, then also got some heavy blowers as well. So, but uh, that's all good. I'm, I'm prepared in all areas of the game. So. Okay, cool. So, so they willingly come over here for, for you to practice hitting on. Yeah. 
All right, it, it just puts me in mind of um, of, of women trafficked from, from Eastern Europe and beyond who don't have that choice, Jack, and they, they go through some pretty horrible stuff. What do you think of that? Listen, I don't know much about him. All I know is I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to take the title from him, all right? Are we done? Sorry. Yeah. Knock him down and take their stuff. Back to you in the studio. And now on for our special spooky weather report with the terrifyingly accurate Big McBen. It's cold! Back to you in the studio. 